are you struggling with finding the inverse of different functions? Well, here's a little practice problem, and it's actually really simple. Now, in order to find function inverses, we first must understand how they work. So, we know that if you input a variable, x, into a function, then you will get f of x, right? That's how functions work. But if you put it f of x, which is the output from here, into the inverse function of this, then you will just get f. So think of it as the regular function takes x to f of x, and the inverse function takes f of x to x. So now we could find the inverse function of our original expression, 2 over x squared plus 1. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to replace f of x with y. Great, now we just simplified this a little bit. Now what we have to do to find the inverse function is wherever we see x in this equation, we're going to replace with y. And wherever we see y, we're going to replace with x. Now, all we have to do is solve for y. We have to isolate it so that we know what the inverse function is. So, we can multiply each side by y squared over 1 to get rid of this denominator. Then, I'm going to expand this out. After that, I'm going to subtract x from both sides to get rid of this x. Then, I'm going to divide both sides by x to get rid of this x that's with the y squared. Now, all we have to do now is take the square root of both sides to get rid of this square that's on the y. And this is our final answer. y, which could be written as f to the negative power of x, that just symbolizes an inverse function, is equal to radical 2 minus x over x. God bless.